Loving him is like driving no Maserati down a dead end street. Faster than the wind, passion in a sin, and it's so sudden. G'day guys, my name's Dave Tran, and welcome to another Throwback Thursday edition of Guitar Zero to Hero Song Tutorial. And by request, today I'll be teaching you how to play Red by Taylor Swift. For the basics of this song, you'll need your guitar in standard tuning, and you'll need a capo on the 4th fret. Now if you want to master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Alright, so let's start with the intro, and it's based around three chord shapes. An F, an A minor, and a G. For the intro though, we only really need to play an easy F, which looks like this. So ring finger on the 3rd fret of the 4th string, middle finger on the 2nd fret of the 3rd, and index finger on the 1st fret of the 2nd string. We'll just pluck each string individually like this. And then we're going to go to an A minor chord shape, do the exact same thing. So 4th string, 3rd string, and then 2nd string. And then finally we can just lift all our fingers up off the fretboard and then pluck the open 4th, open 3rd, and then open 2nd string. And that's the intro riff, which sounds like this. Now when we get into the verse, again, we're basing ourselves around three chord shapes, the F, the A minor, and the G. If you want to play the picking pattern in this first verse though, this is how we're going to do it. Again, we're going to start with this easy F chord shape, and this is our picking pattern. We're going to go 4th string, 3rd string, 2nd string, 3rd string, and then we're going to alternate between the 4th string, 2nd string, and then 4th string and 2nd string again. And that picking pattern in total. And then when we go to our A minor chord shape, we're going to do the exact same thing. So 4th string, 3rd string, 2nd string, 3rd string, and then alternate between the 4th and 2nd, and 4th and 2nd. And finally for this last position we'll play the exact same picking pattern, but we'll do it twice with these open strings for the 4th, 3rd and 2nd strings. And in total the verse riff will sound like this. Now if you're looking for just an easy way to strum this verse, then we have four chords here. We have our F, and then A minor, and then G, and then G again. Now our strumming pattern is going to be really simple. It's just going to be down, 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 up, down, up. And in succession, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. You're going to play that strumming pattern once for each chord, and the strum to verse will sound like this. Next we get to the chorus which is easy, we just have two lines of chords here. The first line of chords goes F, and then we have a C chord, and then G, and G again. And then the second line of chords is exactly the same as what we had in the verse. We're going to be using the same strumming pattern as well as we had in the verse, and the chorus will just sound like this. After the chorus is the post-chorus where she sings red, and the chords there are just exactly the same as the verse, so F, A minor, G, and G again, with the same strumming pattern too. That chord progression is also going to be used as the rhythm for the solo section too. Next we get to the bridge of the song, and there's just two lines of chords here. The first line of chords is F, and we have G, and then we have A minor, and then G slash B, which is the same as a G, except you're not hitting the top 6th string. Your bass note is the 5th string. 
and then C. And then the second line of chords is F, C slash E. So that's the same as a C, except you're allowed to hit the top sixth string open. And then G, and then G again. Now for our strumming pattern here, we're going to change things up a little bit. Our strumming pattern is just four down strums. So down, 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 down. But what you also need to do is add staccato to these strums. You're going to strum the chord and then quickly stop it with your palm by just lightly resting it like that. Or you can just lift your fingers up off the fretboard with your fretting hand. So you're going to do that for every down strum. Now in this first line, the first three chords, the F, the G and the A minor are played for one full strumming pattern each. But for the G slash B to the C, they share one strumming pattern. So you're going to have two down strums for the G slash B and then two down strums for the C. And the first line will sound like this in total. For the second line of chords, our first three chords are played for one full strumming pattern. And then that final G at the end is just strummed once and held out. So the full bridge in total will sound like this. Now the last bit of rhythm that we need to learn here is the final chorus of the song. Now the chords are exactly the same, except the rhythm for this first line of chords is going to differ a little bit. Our strumming pattern is going to differ. So for our first F chord, we're going to strum this with just two down strums and mute it after like this. Down, down. And then when we go to our C chord, we're going to strum this with a down, up, down, mute. So be sure to not let those chords ring out after you've hit them. And to recap, down, down, mute, down, up, down, mute. When we go to our first G chord, we're going to strum this with four down strums, down, 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 down. And then for our second G chord, we'll strum this with a down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, to build it up into the rest of the chorus where the strumming pattern just returns to normal. So this final chorus is going to sound like this. Finally, I'm just going to quickly show you how to play the solo in this song. Now, all the tab up here is going to be relative to no capo. So we'll take our capo off. You can leave your capo on, but just be wary that all the tab up here is relative to no capo. So to start the solo off, we're going to take our ring finger, put it on the 10th fret of the second string and slide up to the 12th fret of the second string. And then we're going to hold out that note for a little bit. So. And then we're going to pluck it again and then slide down to the 10th fret. And then with our middle finger, go to the 9th fret of the second string. And then after that, with our index finger free, we'll go to the 9th fret of the third string, hit that, and then slide up to the 11th fret of the third string. And so far we have this. Once you're up here at the 11th fret of the 3rd string, you're going to hit it again and slide back down to the 9th fret of the 3rd string and then go down to the 8th fret of the 3rd string and then with your middle finger go to the 9th fret of the 4th string. And altogether the first line of the solo will sound like this. For the second section of this solo, we're going to start with our index finger on the 10th fret of the 2nd string pluck that and slide up to the 12th fret of the second string. We're going to hit it again and then with our middle finger go to the 12th fret of the first string whilst still holding down the index finger on the 12th fret of the second string. So that will sound like this. Then we'll do that again. Then we'll hit the first string and then slide up to the 14th fret. And so far we have this. Then you'll hit the 14th fret again and slide back down to the 12th fret. 
Then you'll pluck that 12th fret and slide down again to the 11th fret of the first string. And with our ring finger, we'll go to the 12th fret of the second string. The final note we'll hit is the 17th fret of the first string. We're going to pluck that with our ring finger, but then bend up. But we need to bend up to a pitch of the 19th fret of this first string. So bend it up until you hit a similar pitch to the 19th fret. And in total, the second line will sound like this. And the full solo. So now I'm going to be playing through the whole song and I'm going to have my friend Clancy singing on top. She's a fellow YouTuber and she's got an amazing voice. So be sure to check out her channel and subscribe to her channel if you like her voice. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to, and see how you go. Loving him is like joy. Losing him.
Thanks guys, hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. If you've enjoyed this video, hit that like button, hit subscribe and click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on my updates. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions and requests for Throwback Thursday down below and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.